All right, Mike Smith. Hey, listen, uh, they call them Woj bombs in the business, and we can see this one coming. Uh, Adrian Wojnarowski saying that Ben Simmons, he's done. He's done with the 76ers, hadn't spoken to the team since late August. He laid out the plan then. He's sticking to the plan now. Uh, keep my name out your mouth, essentially. If I had to translate it, keep my name out your mouth. Uh, I'm not playing for y'all no more. Trade me. You can find me if you want. You're not going to see me in Philadelphia anymore. Thank you. Goodbye. So, look, Mike, we have we have had a lot of conversations about Ben Simmons. And and you know, it's only fair, Mike, that I have to be consistent here because we just it, it's funny how it all plays out in the news cycle. We start off talking about Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. I give you credit because your position was, "Hey, What's Aaron Rodgers going to do? He's a he's a football player. He's under contract in the Green Bay Packers. He's too good to just give away. So he's either going to retire or he's going to play for the Packers. Now, I understand Ben Simmons, his position. He's under contract with the 76ers. They can find him. They can mess with his money. He gets half of his contract before October 1st. So I just know I don't know if he's married or not. If he were married, this would be a different conversation at the kitchen table. You know, you know that's true, and I know it's true too. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Hold on. You're not gonna do what? What? How much money? Uh, before October 1st? Well, you may need to reconsider that. But his money, half of his money is on the line, is due to him in 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 less than three weeks. And he doesn't want the organization. I understand how he feels, but as a power move. I kind of think he's powerless. I'm on his side, but when it comes down to strategy, when it comes down to action items, Mike, I think he's really, he's on Philadelphia's program, whether, whether he's talking to them or not, they control his future. So you're saying it's an idle threat on the part of Ben Simmons, is that what you're it's saying? Too, it's too, Less is that his wife right there or girlfriend? I don't know. Um, but I, I think it's toothless. It doesn't have a lot of bite because I, this is what Philadelphia. So for, for Ben Simmons, his his position is I can sit out, not get paid, not play basketball, or I can report to Philadelphia and see what they work out for me because they don't want me there. I don't want to be there and they don't want me there. Philadelphia yeah. can say. Yeah, we can listen to Ben. We can listen to him and 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 try to trade him or we can call his bluff cuz nothing, there's nothing he can do. I I still think they they hold the hammer. They hold the hammer. They much rather have Ben Simmons, but they can they are more prepared to move on without him than he is to move on without them. Yeah, I disagree. A uh, couple of things. So Mark Stein, oh, yeah? okay. Uh he he says that he was told very clearly that the Sixers do not liken these circumstances to Al Horford's last season in Oklahoma City or John Walls in Houston. As the start of training camp draws near, Philadelphia has shown zero interest to date in striking the sort of mutual agreement that Wall and the Rockets just hatched to shelve the former All-Star point guard. So in other words, just in terms of housekeeping, they're not going to authorize him to sit out while they work out a trade, even though both sides right. want a trade. They're not going to say, all right, you know what? Go sit. Don't get hurt. We'll call you when we got something. They're not doing that. And and Stein uh, had also reported a couple. Uh, I think it was yesterday even that uh, the Sixers, the Sixers wanted to uh, try to talk him into showing up. That even though the plan was for Simmons to hold out, the Sixers were going to try to change his mind, which is not necessarily new. Um, but we've heard, but we we've heard that the, even at the meeting in August, I think we had, when we had Keith Pompey on. They were going to try to say, hey, why don't you come back? Why don't, why don't you let bygones be bygones and uh, and try to work this out since we can't find a trade? I think, you know, Michael, um, I have no little to no sympathy for Simmons. OK, OK. Um, and you still feel that way, but. I, not in this case. See, so it's like okay. in, 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 right. in this con I'm talking in this context. In the context of yeah. is this the right way to play this? Ben Simmons is in the right. Okay. He is in the right in terms of how he's playing this. 
And I don't believe explain this. Explain that, that to me. Explain he that has to, to I'm, submit I'm surprised himself you say that. to Philadelphia, that Philadelphia has complete control of his future. Yes, there's a contract. And like I said uh, last week, you know, they can pull a Chicago be like, I got a contract between me and you that says you do what I say. They could do that. Shout out to AJ Johnson. Rest in peace. Okay. Right. Um, Shout out. Even though he was talking to Jamie Foxx in that context, AJ Johnson was in mm-hmm. Players Club. AJ Johnson was in Friday. AJ Johnson was in House Party. AJ Johnson was, was in a lot of a uh, lot of movies that you and I grew up on and we enjoyed. Anyway, uh, I grew up on. You were already much much older than me. Uh, rest in peace, Wrong. brother. Uh, Wrong. Gone too soon. Paying bills. Um, right. So uh, where was I? Oh, so yes, there's a contract, yeah. and yes, they have recourse. Yes, they can fine him. Yes, they can withhold salary. Yes, they can suspend him. If he's willing to do it, and it seems like he's willing to do it, I think that is the move. I completely understand it. I completely support it. I would encourage him to not show up because at this point, it's not his fault. Ben Simmons is who he he is. He has been who he's been, and he probably is who he's going to be at this point. You know, offseason, summer pickup ball, three-pointers notwithstanding. That's probably who he is, right? Stop hating. This is a this is Daryl Morey's fault, and I, I've said I've been consistent in saying this. Like, the Sixers made this bed; they now have to sleep in it. It is not on Ben Simmons to sleep in this proverbial bed. And in fact, the more Ben Simmons doesn't suck it up and say, as as Joel Embiid alluded to, doesn't suck it up and say, "I'll show you." I've been in the gym. I've been in the lab. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. I'm coming back with a vengeance to win this town over to take this team to the next level the way I haven't so far. The more he doesn't take that approach is the more the Sixers should further know that it's ridiculous to bring him back into this situation. He ain't built for it. And that's this not is- a criticism. That's just a fact. Well, that's a that's okay. No, that's everybody ain't built for that. No, that's that ain't everybody. No, whoa, that's whoa, whoa, whoa. just that's just Mike, not who he is. Mike, and that's stop okay. That. Stop that. That's stop. no, that's okay. No, that's all right. That's disingenuous. Hey, man, that's disingenuous to say. No, it's not. That's not a criticism. Say, bro. Oh, that's a criticism. Say, and you there's know certain, it. That is a broad certain stuff. Time. I ain't built for. There's certain stuff. Okay. I ain't built for. Wait. Know thyself. Come on, Mike. Okay. That's fine. This that's fine. So this dude is listen, 25. Michael, you may, you spent your whole career in Boston, Michael. You spent your whole career in Boston. Yeah. And you and I both know that certain dudes ain't meant to pitch for the Boston Red Sox. Okay? Right. Or as I think Bob Ryan wrote okay. one day, some people are just built to pitch on a getaway day in June in San Diego. Okay? Some people ain't <laughs> built to be the ace of the Red Sox. Some people ain't built right. to be to, to 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 thrive under this scrutiny, and that's okay. That's I mean it. I'm not being sarcastic. I am. Okay. I, that's not. How long has he been in Philly? I mean it. That's okay. How long has he too been long, in Philly? If you ask me. Too long. Okay, if you maybe ask it's me. too and long, it's, but he's been there out. already. There's no. He's already. There's okay, no. It's no not under these circumstances. It, it has bottomed out. Not under these circumstances, All and right. there is no coming back from this. There is no coming back from this. So if you're Ben Simmons, I agree Simmons, with you on that. You have zero incentive. You have zero incentive to show up and play. And wait for your phone to ring when Daryl Morey is good and damn ready to do it. Okay? Because at a certain point, if you're Ben Simmons, he's like, you know what? This contract go both ways. You're not honoring the contract because you can trade me when you want. Okay, I'm not your property. I'm 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 channeling my inner Ben Simmons now. You've thrown me under the bus. You've put last right. year's shortcomings on me. Now I'm gonna sit up here. Now I gotta take control of my own destiny. And what I'm not going to do is show up under these circumstances after Doc Rivers and Daryl Morey and Joel Embiid and everybody else, not to mention media and fans, have showed me how they feel about me. There's nothing left for me in Philadelphia. So I am willing to take the fine, take the suspension. What I'm not going to do is come and ball out and just be waiting by the phone, looking over my shoulder, waiting by the phone for somebody to tell me, Hey, pack your stuff. You've been shipped out. No, we're going to do this now. Yeah. Ben Simmons is 100% in the right with how he is approaching this situation. Daryl Morey thinks that we're that that the rest of the league is a bunch of idiots because what Daryl Morey is basically trying to say is, hey, I got this depressed asset that is not conducive to our championship aspirations, but he's a 25 year old all star all defensive 
all defensive team member, all NBA member, and, and defensive player of the year runner up. So give me four first round picks and two pick swaps and, and an all star player. Like, nah, player, it don't work that way. Daryl Morey is being too greedy. So now Ben Simmons has no recourse. His recourse is to withhold his services and force them to say, go ahead and find me, do what you got to do, and cut off your nose to spite your face. The best thing is and would have been long time ago for them to work out a trade that gets them 60 or 70 cents on the dollar because that's the best you're going to get under these circumstances. But no, Daryl Morey, yeah. Mr. The smartest person in the room, believes in winning the trade. He wants to win the trade. He wants to he, he wants to get what he thinks he should get for somebody with Ben Simmons well, that's resume. You, that's what you should want to do. Ain't a fit in Philly no more. Should you, you should want to do that as a general manager. That's what you should want to do. And, and, win and the you trade. Know, but you know what now, you're doing in the meantime? You're losing. You want to win the trade, losing. but Simmons ain't showing up, and now you now you got nothing to show for it. Go make a trade I mean, for somebody that's a better fit for your roster and move on from this toxic situation. But since everybody's things, just man. an asset, two everybody's just a, a an employee number. I guess he doesn't look at it from a from a human or a chemistry standpoint. So I'm with Ben Simmons here. You know, I have not been sympathetic toward the plight of Ben Simmons since the playoffs. Okay, I missed it. He got to go, and that was before he passed up a dunk. So I, you know how I feel about it. But I can look at this objectively and say, you know what? I stay home too. I would stay home too. Go ahead and find me. Well, go ahead and I'll tell you this. What what more what can you do to me at this point that ain't been done? You've already yeah. you've already depressed my value on the trade market, okay? You throw me under the bus, the entire town is 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 is, is, is turned on me. And again, I got a lot to do with that. I passed up the dunk. I won't shoot. I haven't improved my game over the last few years. That's on me. I get it. But like, okay, so you want to take my money? You want to spend me? Cool. Look, the squeaky wheel. What is it? The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Whatever one it is. Sometimes, like, uh, it, or it, it's it, both. It's sometimes it's some gets sort the of oil. Listen, hey, sometimes some it gets of, the oil. Some kind sometimes of gets replaced. Yeah, but, or you know, gets replaced. It does not. Sometimes it gets replaced. I don't need this squeaky. And that's the, I don't need the squeaky wheel. Let me just right. get it out of here. It's defective. And Michael, that's the difference between him and Rogers. It does not behoove him to show up and and perform. Rogers, he I, like I always say, like okay, you could just retire. If you want, you can just retire. And if that's what you want to do, cool. But you can't, you, you should not force them to trade him because the difference is Rogers was, was being welcomed back with open arms. Okay. Rogers was coming off an MVP season. Rogers has gone 13 and 3 into the NFC Championship game back to back years. To me, that, that was, that's the comparison is only, I don't want to be here anymore. But it did not behoove Rogers to force a trade from an otherwise productive situ situation. If the alternative is retiring at the peak of your powers, Ben Simmons is not Aaron Rodgers, and Ben Simmons' situation is untenable, whereas Rodgers and the Packers was not. Ben Simmons, they, they, they cannot continue down this path. They got to move on from each other, and the only person who doesn't seem to realize that is Daryl Morey. You want to talk him into coming back? Please, man, come on. Like that, that ship is sailed. Well, Too late a couple, that. a couple things here. A couple things here. A couple here things here, Gary. Uh, if you can put that uh, points bet graphic up with teams likely to acquire Ben Simmons next. And as you put that up, I'm going to say this. This is the ultimate modern management dilemma. Modern professional management. Once again, we're not talking about uh, everyday life. We're talking about professional sports where the where the where the employees sometimes well, not sometimes often make more and their employers in middle management and upper management and the employees can tell their bosses hey what I'm not going to do is fill in the blank that's one ultimate dilemma like what do you do what do you do in this situation it's fascinating to see what what figures uh, how they figure this out and once they figure it out uh, they're going to be case studies at Harvard Business School and Stanford Business School and Michigan, all the top business schools in the world, how you figure out the situation. But this is what I want to say. On this list, there's an intriguing name, and it's number four for me. I know you're not really a fan of Ben Simmons' game, but for me, Ben Simmons works best when he's surrounded by a bunch of shooters. Now, if you're asking him to be the second option or third option, maybe you'll be disappointed. But can you imagine Ben Simmons? I don't know if they how they can work it out. Can you imagine Ben Simmons on the Warriors? No. They love no. him. Well, 
He loved them. Oh, it would be so I good. Think, it would be so, so good. I think, I think there was, I think there was conversation. Wasn't there conversation and that was the Sixers wanted too much? Personally, they already got a Ben Simmons and that's Draymond Green, except Draymond will actually shoot. He may shoot Sean. a brick. He may shoot Sean. an air ball, but he'll Sean. shoot. I love Draymond. I love Draymond. Calm down. Uh, no, Dray- hey, Rob I mean, Harris. it works pretty if Draymond well. Even think of, if Draymond even think about being Ben Simmons, he better wake up and apologize. No, 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 no. No, no, no. He's not Ben Simmons. I'd rather Draymond Green. He ain't about that. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. I'd rather Draymond Green. Great. You know what I ain't got a question? Yeah. You know what? You know what I ain't got a question? What? Oh, you question Ben Simmons' heart now. He doesn't have heart? Now? It's not heart. Now? That's been the whole conversation. Oh, it's not a heart. That's been the it's whole not, no, conversation. That's conversation me. Conversations up here is between the ears. Either, either it's, one. It's, it's, it's either a perspective. One. It's not hard. Either it's one. It's not hard. Come on. Either one. They're both up, they're both two. offensively compromised. Been. Great defenders. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.